Yeah, right? I believe so. Okay. Uh, Mad Dog 2001 here, coming live from Showtime Estrada's studio here, as we're here to break down, as you can read, up above from the heavens below, as a uh, No Mercy prediction video. My first ever no uh, pay-per-view prediction video, because this is like the first time I've been following wrestling for a while. Uh, basically, we're going to run down the matches. Uh, what's our first match? Um, let's do uh, Kane versus Rey Mysterio. Alright. Uh, the way they've been booking this feud, obviously, is though, if Kane wins the match, he, Rey Mysterio loses his mask, and I don't think anyone really cares, as far as I don't. Uh, this, this feud has been lame, in my mind, as far, because, first of all, Rey Mysterio is no, nothing to take away from his wrestling abilities. In my opinion, I think Kane has really done a good job trying to carry this feud. It seems like Ray is not even caring, in my opinion. Uh, what I mean, do you have any... I want to pick Ray Mysterio to win this match, but uh, I mean, what do you think of it? Um, same feelings. Don't really care about it. Um, I wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to have Kane be victorious. I'd rather, you know, might, might just give him a chance and... You know, it would be, to me in a match, it would not be good. You know, it's it's like, how can you compare two different type of wrestling styles in a match? It just doesn't make sense. And how they build it up, I don't get it either. So, I don't have to say Kane will be victorious and and let Ray take off his mask because I'd rather see him without his mask. Hopefully, maybe change his image and make him basically a better wrestler, even though he is a good wrestler for the record. So. Next match we have women's championship, Beth Phoenix versus Candice Michelle. And this is one of the only women's matches in a long time where I actually kind of care who wins this match. Uh, first of all, I want Beth Phoenix to win this match because I think she's a better, she's a good women's champion. She's restoring uh, credibility back to that belt. Even Not that they lost credibility, but I mean as far, you know, we haven't seen a, a good women's champion probably since Trish Stratus, in my opinion, one that at least had decent wrestling ability and somewhat kind of looked good, I guess. Uh, Candice Michelle, no no disrespect to her, but I don't care, I guess, <laughs> uh, as far as her being women's champion. Uh, I don't like the way they booked this feud. I don't like the fact that Beth Phoenix is not the monster heel that she was. She's basically now going out with a dominating heel women's wrestler. She's going out there and getting beat by Kelly Kelly and fucking Candice Michelle. So, right, I'm going to have to pick Candice to win this match. I don't want her to win, but right now, my gut feeling is saying Candice. Right now, I guess. Um, I have to say Candice as well. Uh, just, uh, obviously... Personally, I don't think Candice is an actual wrestler. I think she's just more of looks. And personally, I think she's just better off with Playboy, not wrestling in a ring. Um, she is pretty good looking in my in my book, but she doesn't have the right to be, you know, competing, you know, competing in the women's title. And Beth Phoenix, like Andrew or um, Mad Dog said, put value to that title, and she can wrestle, and she's actually fit to be. Uh, a great wrestler, and now she's a good-looking girl as well. That's probably why they call it the Glamazon. Um, so I would pick Beth Phoenix over. Actually, I'm sorry, my my correction. I pick Candice over Michelle, Michelle or Candice Michelle over Beth Phoenix because I don't know popularity, I guess. Let's just say she's a lot better looking than China. Anyways, next uh, match. Don't even compare <laughs> that, man. Big Show versus she's Undertaker. She's a penis. <laughs> Big Show versus Undertaker. Uh. First of all, I think they've done a real... I think Big Show and Vicky Guerrero have kind of tried to make this feud work. Undertaker, in my opinion, since he's changed his dead man gimmick in 2004, I, I, his personality is gone. I've lost a lot of... Not that I lost respect for him, I just lost my like Undertaker passion that I once had for him. Where he was awesome, you know. Every time he, I'd watch SmackDown to see The Undertaker, now it's just like... He comes out as the dead man, rolls his eyes behind his head, and I'm just not buying it anymore. But if I had to pick a winner, I'm going to have to say Big Show just so the feud can continue. I think this is going to be a feud that's going to continue probably up to Survivor Series. 
and you may see La Familia come back. I highly doubt it since the Edgeheads lost the titles. <laughs> Can you see World Wrestling Entertainment and World Wrestling Entertainment? Undertaker, you know, he's a great wrestler. I've followed him since when he first came into WWE. Um, the fact is now, you know, I love the Dead Man look. It's classic. That's the thing about Undertaker. It's classic, you know. Right. Um, vintage Undertaker. But at the same time, when it comes to, you know, people like me and, you know, Mad Dog here, we love his mic skills more than his abilities. You know, he great. He has a great mic skills. Well, not to say that I don't like Undertaker's in-ring in work. I'm not saying that at all. I just don't like his gimmick. I, I, th I think his... His wrestling style now is a lot better than it was when he was the dead when he was the the biker the dead man. Which some people hated that gimmick. I liked it. I mean, it he seemed more intimidated in my mind as far as uh, like when his music hit. You know, the dead man walking. I mean, it's my freaking ringtone for God's sake. Uh, as far as uh, you know, that's what I'm talking about with the Undertaker. I mean, he used to be my favorite wrestler. At least that gimmick was. I mean, I didn't like it when he went back to the dead man. Because, I mean, the, uh, the Thenom is just because, like I said, his personality, it's like gone. It doesn't seem like it's there anymore. Uh, it's just like if, uh, for an example, Triple H went back to being the de degeneration. Oh, they've already done that, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out so well. Either. Right. Well, it was, for the kids' sake, you're... It was entertaining for the kids, but for, you know, I don't know, I just or wasn't into or it. Or Triple H uh, left the game gimmick and went back to the... Uh, Hunter Hearst Hemsley. Yeah. With his royalty, Mike King fucking Booker. Or, <laughs> or say if The Rock came back, but he wouldn't be The Rock, he'd be the... Rocky Ma Maivia. Or The Rock from the uh, Nation, Nation of, of Domination. Domination. It's... To me, I just think... Well, technically, he was actually like The Rock with the Nation of Domination in a way, because he was more like... You know what I mean? Like, he talked a lot of shit to Farouk and a lot of stuff. Yeah, but, that was pretty funny. But he, once before the Nation of Domination, it was just basically like a, not a I wouldn't say a job or We're getting whatever. off on a tangent on The Undertaker. That'll be saved for another video. Uh, I don't know, did you pick a winner? I would take Big Show. Okay, next match. Batista vs. JBL. And the 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 thing on this uh, book is, uh, is about running out of time, running out of time, running out of time. No, we're not running out of time.